I've got an interesting one for you today, and it isn't just another dashboard light story. This is Laurits Oesterhold story, and how his story became one of our bulletins. And it all started off with a very simple complaint. The owner of a 2021 Mercedes-Benz E-Class Hybrid called Laurits Shop, and he told Laurits that he had a coolant low warning on the instrument panel. He advised him not to drive the vehicle and decided to drive up to the customer's house. When he got there, indeed the coolant level was low. Just a little low, but just enough to trip the sensor. He topped up the coolant and started the vehicle. But the warning, it was still there. And that was the moment that Lauritz realized something wasn't right. He hooked up a scan tool and boom! Fault code stored for communication with the electric water pump. Now his gut feeling said that this wasn't something simple like a faulty coolant level sensor. This was something much deeper, possibly coolant inside the electronics of the water pump. So then he made the call. He told the customer not to drive the vehicle anymore and he got it towed back into the workshop. After a lot of delays, finally after two weeks the car rolled into the workshop. The coolant level was still the same. It hadn't dropped, but still the same warning in the instrument cluster for the coolant level being low. Lauritz hooked up Sentry and performed a guided test. During that guided test, Sentry evaluated the current draw of the electric water pump. It should have been between 3 and 8 amps, but it was barely drawing 1 amp. And that means the electric water pump failed the test. This vehicle uses 5 water pumps, 3 lint controlled electric water pumps, one PWM controlled electric water pump and one standard mechanically driven water pump. He traced the fault to M436 and that electric lint controlled water pump lives under the right headlight in front of the wheel. In the next step, he checked the powers and grounds of that water pump and those turned out to be just fine. Then he decided to scope the lint bus signal and he saw that it was very disturbed. And surely this was caused by that faulty water pump. So he disconnected the water pump and he was surprised to see that the signal didn't get any better. He started unplugging everything connected on that lint bus. But when he unplugged the final component, the grill shutter, the signal didn't get any better. Now at some point, Lawrence even started to doubt his own scope. He did some thinking and finally he had a light bulb moment. He decided to measure the lint signal at the lint master, which is the engine control module. Over there, the lint signal was perfect. He decided to do the same at the grill shutter. And the signal was perfect over there as well. And then it finally hit him. He had a bad lint wire running up to M436, the electric water pump. He searched and searched and pulled the wiring harness until finally, snap, a broken lint wire buried deep underneath the battery tray behind the right front wheel strut. At the lowest point, right where all the water collects. He repaired the wire and he measured the lint signal again. And this time, a flawless signal. And the warning in the instrument cluster, all gone. Now, this isn't just a story about a coolant light. Let Laurit's story be a lesson to everybody out there. Don't replace, but trace. A simple broken wire, but in a not so simple to find spot buried deep underneath the battery box. Lauritz actually spent hours trying to find that broken wire. We have seen it before, so we made a bulletin so you don't have to. Simply select the vehicle, enter the symptom or fault code, and this bulletin will come up, guiding you directly to that weak spot underneath the battery tray where all the water collects. And again, DDTSB will save you time, money, and stress.